Hi, I'm Jen Zielinski, standing in front of St. Hubertus Winery in Kelowna, where the owners are relying on the Okanagan sunshine for more than just growing grapes. They are installing solar panels. I mean, here in the Okanagan, we have so much sunshine. And especially, I think, in the summer, where everybody has their air condition cranked up, which, you know, it sucks, sucks up a lots of lots of energy. I mean, it's a natural put out those solar panels and uh, we were looking already uh, way back 12 years ago into putting solar panels in it but at that time it was so extremely expensive so now it gets slowly to the cost I mean if you at least have a payback mine of 12 13 14 years versus never uh, it makes more sense so there are 260 watt pot panels and 42 of them that's that equates to 10,920 watts so 10 point 92 kilowatts which is quite a bit of power an average house uses 13 kilowatts per year so it's very close to you know uh, offsetting almost all of his annual consumption of what he needs the solar panels are on a grid tie system where the winery has a net metering agreement with Fortis and will get a return on any surplus it creates but even before net metering was an option Leo Gerbert was on to the benefits of solar energy. When we rebuilt after the Okanagan Mountain Park fire, we were, I think, one of the first one which put just all the hot water onto solar. So if you look at all the buildings, they all have solar panels on it, and that's now 12 years ago. So and that has worked out quite well. The hope is to have all the buildings equipped with solar panels at the winery, but due to the expense, Gerbert is looking to the BC government to offer a financial incentive. So this system behind us here is, uh, is going to produce for the next 30 years. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.